What's up? I'm pretty sure you're aware that as a citizen, voting is your right and duty. But does it stop there? Group 5 presents you by any hand up. Examples like the boat seen as with this manyanita during the pandemic but got a promotion. And also Emelda Marcos with the amount of her bill. Why should this concern us? Because this makes the state predisposed to dominance by the economic and political elite whose agendas are oriented on narrow group interests rather than the masses. Tolerating and even praising these injustices at times seems to be the answer of many. Therefore, a repeated pattern of bad governance remains an issue to be solved. As many of us today seem to understand the inherent wrongdoings and the inefficiency of our governance, the citizens must also do their part to be civically engaged and exercise their democratic rights to partake in alleviating the status quo for the betterment of themselves and the country. And so, in response to these problems, we bring you Bayan Ihanda. It shall bridge and work in cooperation with multiple organizations, influencers, and institutions for the betterment of the current standards of voter and civic education in a collective effort to encourage, enliven, and enhance civic engagement. Bayani Handa stems from the Bayanian spirit of the Filipinos and this ever-present culture instills us with the aspiration to work as a community for the benefit of all. Essentially, Bayani Handa creates a network of diverse groups and individuals who possess expertise in various departments to better achieve the shared objectives with each other's support. Bayani Handa shall bear the principles of pushing the exercise of Filipinos' democratic rights and inciting collective action towards making informed decisions and efforts within the social-political context by providing avenues for critical thinking and participation. The main goal of the coalition is to create an effort that links and unifies one another's interests and assets aligned with inspiring civic involvement and education. Partner organizations and stakeholders Manpower will be shared amongst the organizations involved to work in their respective areas of expertise for the following projects that will provide a foundation for the basic concepts of good governance, democracy, and the significance of civic participation. Alright, thank you for that. So, as the coalition aims to reach a wide audience, we intend to utilize the influence of prominent social media influencers with the goal to promote the project through their respective platforms via TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter. Since consumers are more likely to trust the opinions of influencers rather than conventional media outlets. The possible list of influencers are as follows. We have Dora Dorado, Jeremy Sansibuche, Yaki Pangilinan, and Rika Salomon. As we also have the goal to build trust among our followers, we plan to contact professionals to help us boost the advocacy. And one of them is Senator Chael Jokno. As a fellow Lasallian, we aim to reach the senator in one of the sub-projects of Bayan Ihanda. So how does the group aim to sustain it? The strategy for nurturing this emerging coalition lies in the active collaboration between our partners and stakeholders to develop and promote each other's programs. Strive to maximize the strengths of different volunteers and communities in the area of competence. Finally, this may be perpetuated through the efforts placed in being active in social media and continuously creating new approaches to promote the objective of this initiative. Educating the public on voter education and civic engagement is crucial because the citizens are tasked to sustain a robust democratic process. However, the group acknowledges that voter education has its limits. To achieve a stern, relevant, and transparent electoral system, there should be a substantial changes. Solely educating people who advantages, but it will not fix the issues unless it is directly addressed and acted upon by the civic participation of the people. With all that has been said, the realization of Filipino people about their substantial role in the society is integral to achieve national development. Citizens should have the option to broaden their perspective when it comes to the importance of civic engagement and accountability for them to understand how it affects the bigger society. The democratic system in the Philippines makes it easier for people to express their freedom of choice. But the lack of social sensitivity among the population does not help in choosing the right leader for the country. More than that, leniency on issues about corruption and abuse of power shall be addressed in an attempt to deal with incompetence and bad governance. Therefore, a program that aims to bring this awareness to the people 
is a critical move to create a positive social change in the Philippine democratic society.